Let us start by asking our Mother in Heaven to help us reflect on today's Gospel. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter of the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. They say that two things are certain in life, death and taxes. And with tax season among us, taxes are very much on a lot of our minds. When filing taxes, we do everything we could do to do our taxes correctly so that we could get the biggest refund possible or get the most tax breaks so that we owe the least amount. This is important and we should take our taxes Seriously, but what about heaven? Do we take heaven as seriously as we take our taxes? If we're honest with ourselves, the answer might be no. Taxes have immediate consequences, and depending on how you answer the questions and the tax forms, we could potentially save thousands of dollars. And this is a tangible reality that grabs our attention and our time. So what about heaven? Is heaven worth thousands of dollars? Or hundreds of thousands of dollars? Or millions of dollars? If we are to think in terms of dollars, how much is heaven worth to us? Well, whether or not we feel it, we should at least understand intellectually that heaven is worth everything. From the perspective of eternity, heaven is like a beach full of sand, and our time on earth is like a grain of sand. But in our hearts, is this how we feel? Does this reality motivate everything we do? Probably not. If we're honest, heaven probably sounds kind of boring. And that would be a normal reaction to have. But what about the saints? The saints are people that the church has confirmed are in heaven. And if you read the lives of the saints, you'll find that they were passionately in love with God. They discovered the great secret of happiness because they talked to God frequently, and they had a burning desire in their hearts to share this love with others. We will only discover God's great gifts if we raise our eyes to Him. He constantly seeks us out, but we need to respond to Him. If you don't have a set time of prayer already, start by giving Him 10 minutes. 10 minutes to talk to God every day, by sitting in silence with Him in your room maybe, or in front of the Blessed Sacrament and talk to him. Jesus gave himself to us on the cross. Do we accept that gift by going to Mass on Sunday, in Thanksgiving? And do we realize that all the supernatural grace we receive from the Eucharist is contained within the Mass? The best way we could grow closer to Jesus, besides our own personal prayer, is asking others to pray for us. And kind of like how we would ask a close friend, or our parents, or our grandparents to pray for us, we could ask our Mother in Heaven. Mary is the Mother of God, and she's also our Mother. If we ask her to pray for us, 
she will be our greatest ally.